All right, so quick walkthrough of this job. But before I start, by the way, this is the cutest walkthrough ever. Check this out. So I came back to finish this job last week. The little girl gave me this card, thank you card. Look at how cute that is. <laughs> so I went home that night and showed my daughter. She was so jealous and <laughs> she made me one as well. Anyway, quick walk through because I'm losing daylight. So I've been getting a lot of homeowners that don't know much about gardening, which is good because I like teaching people, you know? All right, so plants she got, limelight hydrangea, limelight hydrangea, autumn sedum joy, autumn sedum joy. Then there's one here and one back there. I'll talk about those in a little bit. All right, so the reason why I suggested just something low maintenance for easy mowing, but mostly because they're gonna redo their walkway. So that's the main reason. And she needed something evergreen here. So baby gem boxwood, I suggested these three. And these are actually baby jade boxwood. All right, so. I brought her two spirea and then she got another one to match it these look dead but they're not they i just hadn't watered them anyway i brought them for her because i like it like giving people their money's worth and i wanted something to look nice for them you know so she got a matching one check out how pretty that is those are double play big bang spirea Double play Big Bang Spirea, something like that. So eventually, those will grow three feet by four feet height and wide. I suggested something evergreen right here or a decoration. She didn't want to cover up her window. So these limelight will eventually get huge. That's why I put it over here. I would have liked to put like a little hedge here so it doesn't look so steep, but. I did what I could with what I had. I added my touch with whatever she got. And actually it came out nice. So for this I was thinking short term and long term. Like I said, those will eventually get they will kind of fill in like that. This is that square. And that's why I suggested something evergreen right there. So maybe a dwarf spruce. So those are yellow foliage. And that's why I got these dianthus because they're red so when the dianthus are done blooming these will take over and they'll bloom reddish so it will complement the yellow foliage of the spirea all right so since I couldn't do the shape over here I decided to play with little dianthus so if, if you saw my other walkthrough you'll see that I use dianthus this time, this time I use red. They'll grow a little bit bigger, rounder, a little bit taller next year. So it kind of, it may mean for a shape like that. The limelight will get a uh, huge, they'll bloom lime green, then white. So there's another sedum, their dog got a hold of it. And I always gotta add some kind of rock, so. Anyway, like I said, they don't know much about gardening, so I let them know that you can separate those and it should survive. Then there's the other one. And so picture this, these tall, roundish, maybe something evergreen. This one huge, eventually, kind of hide that steep look. And then the evergreen for winter interest, sedum, a flowering reddish. They kind of turn like purple foliage as well. The red complementing the yellow foliage, foliage of the spirea. So white blooming, red, evergreen, some kind of little cute shape. <laughs> and that's it. And eventually, I will if they call me back I'll suggest something else 
But uh, I forgot, I did talk about this, right? <laughs> Last week, little girl gave it to me. Way, way too cute. Thank you card. Doesn't get any cuter than that, does it? And showed my daughter. She got so jealous, so she made me one. <laughs> but that's it. See you on the next one, YouTube.